this is um, okay. This is one of the blueprints for the longhouse, and so I just wanted to show you a bit about how I do that. I have to paint them like definitely one dimensional. So this is the inside of the roof of the longhouse. That's all the cedar kind of shakes, and then these are the supporting poles. And this is a smoke hole where it comes out. And then for close-up shots, they want to have like nice lumber behind it because I try to put myself back in the time and I try to make all the wood look really rough because, you know, they're using like, they could be using tools made of stone or early metal like iron. And so I try to always like think about the kind of look that, that would have on this cedar that they're using to build their longhouses or their Douglas fir that they use, Sitka spruce. Actually, I don't know if they did do cedar. So so anyway, I did this. Um, like you can see with this work, it has like a lot of depth. And the, how you get the depth when you watercolor is you do layer and layer and layer. Like usually you'll see a lot of people use watercolor and they use it quite quite lightly but I would pile on the paint and spread it around and so this would be the beginning of this piece of wood so you could see how it develops 